Hello and welcome. A very good evening to all my viewers. I'm Megha Sharma. This is NewsX, and we are standing here at the iconic Raisana Hill. There is the new Parliament building that is going to be inaugurated very shortly, in just a few hours from now. 7:30 a.m. is when the Prime Minister and several other dignitaries are going to do the Havan, the Maha Yagya, the Ved Yadu Yagya, that is going to then. offset the launch of the new parliament building there has been however that incessant question that is being posed by the opposition because of which it is doing a boycott it is saying that they are not going to be attending the parliament they are not going to be attending the inaugural function of the new parliament building because it is not being inaugurated by the president of the country and they say that it is going to break protocol let's quickly start off this discussion and i'm going to start off this conversation with my congress spokesperson onika mehrotra let's hear it from you is this not wise for the people of the country and the representatives of the people of the country to come together on such a momentous occasion and forget about your petty differences megha it it's no doubt a momentous moment no denying on that but anybody any citizen of this country will hang their head in shame when they realize that the president of our country the first citizen of the country an adivasi woman who has worked gradually up and has come to a post which is is a, a post where we you know look forward to when we look up to a woman and that to a woman Uh, remember when uh, uh, you know they uh, all spoke about it the first adivasi woman and bjp has done it and look what they are doing i mean how can you just imagine uh, the constitution which was set by bhim rao bawas ambedkar ji okay. despite that you 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 know you, they should learn to practice what they preach in fact they insist uh, but then are you saying are you saying if the president was not a dalit then it did not matter whether the president or the prime minister would have inaugurated the building because Ab that's that's what that's what your argument says absolutely not it is both the factors the president as well as being a woman and that to from adivasi uh, you know uh, the community so you talk about adivasi you know being you no know, not uh, coming up to the mark not being progress and you've lifted that up to a position where we look up to it's you who done it right okay. we appreciate that okay. and on the same breath you demean a constitutional post Okay. Is it justified? Okay, okay. Shivam Chabra, is this justified? Is the question that the Congress is asking. How do you have to respond to this? See, what is uh, sad to see is that when the entire country is going to witness after uh, the independence, uh, the inauguration of the new building of the Parliament, Parliament House, a building. It's just not a building. I think it's an institution uh, which the country, the world's largest democracy, is coming with a new Parliament House. So I think uh, everybody, I mean, from all sectors of society, I think the all political parties should come together and probably be part of this entire momentous occasion. But unfortunately, Congress and the other political parties who, who have opted to boycott this momentous occasion for the sake of petty politics. Uh, now you you can analyze and realize the fact that you know the kind of uh, uh, I was listening to Anika ji and Anika ji was re continuously referring to that you know the Adivasi, the Mahila. Hmm. Uh, I mean. if these kind of uh, so called sympathetic and you know uh, some uh, i would say that uh, uh, rosy rosy words could be used for this president while she was contesting the election when 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 the congress party used some derogatory against okay. uh, uh, words against her that time also i think so you're I think, you're ref think, referring to that uh, entire uh, debate you know, that rao that came sad. up with about rashtra rashtra patni and i think i think the I remark think the, that was made uh, by the leader of the Megha opposition ji, from the congress Megha ji, the fact of the matter is the institution of president is wave of all this thing she is the leader of the country she is the she is the she is the patron in chief of this country she she is the sanrakshak of the constitution of india and how can you demean her probably coming down to a but then uh, the I question mean, uh, question that is being raised by the congress is if she is the first citizen of the country why is so, she not being given the stature that oh. she that she deserves so inauguration will only give her the stature will the inauguration of the parliament will only give her the stature do you think a woman 
belonging to an adivasi community being raised down to uh, you know she she she's gracing the levels she's gracing the house momentous you say it's momentous are you going to know that do you, do i mean you, just say that okay. Okay. on one breath you say so, beti padhao beti bachao ab aap kehne if i'm saying adivasi and that you are women saying they are rosy words yes, yes you are right because, they because, are rosy words because, for you because you have proved ji, it sir. you have always brought this thing into on politics your, you, know, you have you have demeaned the blurting out what you, you want to say You of, said rosy words. To, your, to, for, to for say your own a president who is a woman and Adivasi are these rosy words? Okay. Yes. Are for Congress service, party, they are rosy words. Done by you. For Congress okay. party, you it is driven by politics. Okay. For okay. Congress yes. party, it is driven okay. by okay. politics. Okay. 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 You've made your point. You've made your point, Adika. You and I on that. Uh, Shivam has been able to respond to this. I don't know if that has satisfied the answer is satisfied you or not, or our viewers. But I'm going to again raise one more point. This is with regards to the precedents that have already been set. Because so far in our constitution, it does not mention any protocols as to who is going to be inaugurating the parliament building. Is it going to be the head of the state? Is it going to be the first citizen of our country? There has been some confusion, some doubts over this, some some sort of grey area where we go about heading towards, and therefore this confusion. that is being showcased by the opposition parties as well but if, if we take a look at uh, you know when the manipur assembly was uh, inaugurated when the ground laying ceremony was take, was taking place in chatisgarh or in rajasthan why was it that sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi or sometimes even manmohan singh were present even when they did not hold the position of the governor of the of the state so so why is it that protocol is being remembered by the congress and other political parties who are opposing the inauguration of the parliament by the prime minister at this point of time i i, I like to res, get a response from uh, pradeep bhati samajwadi party uh, see mega ji this uh, particular uh, uh, inauguration of uh, the new parliament and the old parliament has uh, seen the symbolism from suppression to ind independence from emergency period to the agitation period and from uh, from so called undeclared uh, in the modi uh, kal from uh, from a undeclared emergency to to the mute of uh, muting of the uh, parliament that that entire phase this old uh, parliament has seen so now with the new uh, parliament we are talking about uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, president uh, the uh, president of india's uh, she she being the head of the state she has been given this privilege to be called and to be uh, okay. uh, attending that event which uh, bjp is denying which B bjp with no reason if you see from uh, 1925 27 25 27 when this particular old parliament was uh, was constructed was inaugurated in fact it was done by the head of the state uh, in the country uh, at that time uh, it was also rise so uh, at that time also it was not denied the, what bjp is doing right now no is, that at that point of time in 1947 when it was the first prime minister of our country it was vice lord mount batten who handed over the sengol the scepter and it was the pres it was the prime minister who accepted it there was no president at that point of time so so that's what i'm saying what's the president again onika coming back to you when we talk about uh, back in the day there was the parliament annex that was inaugurated by the then prime minister right. indira gandhi there was the parliament library that was inaugurated by the then prime minister of the upa era rajiv gandhi so so like i said are there gray areas at this point of time and this is the advantage that the opposition party is taking to then take pot shots at the bjp no i'll i'll, I'll answer both your questions a the constitution says there's a certain protocol which uh, in the parliament consists of the president the lok sabha and the rajya sabha the upper house that's how the whole format is all about uh, the other question is of inaugurating an annex inaugurating a library can you compare these two with inaugurating a new completely new uh, building of the parliament i mean but there's no comparison but the the, 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 the prime minister traveling all the way to manipur so, it, so the similarly Chakar, that's exactly a point that's exactly a point why can't the president leave alone that mega have you seen the invite today what has been sent to the um, to the leaders and to the vision holders the it, the invite says the lok sabha uh speaker has invited the prime minister there is no mention of the uh, chairman of the rajya sabha i mean 
what are you doing with the constitution? The point here is, at least abide by that. You are only worried about your nameplate. You could have done that. You could have called all. It's just that Modi ji's name will be below the president. Is that what is hurting you? Okay. I don't think so. You okay. should not be. Okay. You should be more big, large Shiva, hearted. How do you have you to respond to big... this? Because, because if, if quote unquote protocol as per the opposition parties was followed, then the limelight would have been taken by the president. Because as per protocol, it would be the president who would be inaugurating and all the cameras would be panning on to her and not the Prime Minister. Do you really think the President uh, of India... No, no. Do you really think the President of India needs so-called uh, uh, limelight uh, just for the sake of some inauguration? Do you really think that? See, this is what I'm trying to say. You, for the sake of your own political interest, you, you cannot drag the institution of President into a uh, into an inauguration ceremony. You just cannot do that. Shiva, and I think, let's not him. forget, Shivam, Prime Minister sorry is head to of the government. My friend, look aside, that? my friend. Do you deny let's have that? an eye to eye contact and, and let's think, talk about no, no, what it. I'm what does the is parliament is exit officer? Does it, uh, you, do you want to remove the president no, no, from no, the whole thing? No, no, no. no. Well, it's I'm, not your I'm money, just, is it? No, it's not my money. It is the people's tax right? Yes, absolutely. Then you must not. You don't have the right. You don't have the right to shatter the constitution. You can't do that. Madam, you don't have the right. It's the taxpayers' money. You all are. The representatives of the president of India. You? No, no. What is it that you would for the self interest? What the article of the president says, please. Why are you, okay, okay, you, okay, you both bickering over there? Let me also get in Pradeep Bhatti back onto the, into the conversation. Pradeep, you were saying you're talking about some sections and some, some articles. Yeah. I yeah. was saying that section 79 of article, if I if I may go through it, it states that there shall be a parliament of, for the union which shall consist of president and two houses to be known uh, as respectively council of state and the house of people. So it clearly states that uh, president is uh, above those, uh, uh, this parliament is the head of this, uh, uh, this institution. Okay. So that we have to understand. And second thing, uh, talking about what um, Congress has done, uh, what I am saying is that two wrongs cannot make one right. Okay. So what you have done in the past doesn't mean that uh, BJP is going to do the same thing. Thirdly, the, the thing is that uh, uh, that uh, the ABJ Abdul Kalam or maybe KR Narayan Sab and uh, and Somna Chatterjee also have integrated uh, uh, different uh, buildings. So that doesn't mean that uh, you will not be inviting president who is sitting just a few. Uh, few meters away and watching okay. that on the television. Okay. How does it look like when he's in the state, uh, okay. he's in the city? Okay, fair enough. Uh, let me get in A.K. Mishra also on the telecast with me. He's a political analyst. A.K. Mishra, you've been hearing patiently what our political representatives are saying right now. What is your view at the at the end of the day? It is the common man. Is this Tamasha that is playing out again on our television screens? Is the common man really wanting to get into this conversation? And are our political parties then really representing the common man? And whether this is a mudda, this is an agenda for the Aam, Aam Admi? See, particularly there is only one liner of Sanskrit. I am Nija Paro Vetam Garna Lagushte Chet Sam. Particularly, it is related with the opposition. For the first time, I am observing that opposition leader, they are trying, they are fighting to force for invitation of Rastpati, uh, Rastpati uh, Draupadi Murmu ma'am. This is so strange for me. She is also uh, the leader from BJP. The second most important thing, as ma'am was saying, that this is the taxpayer money. Of course, in my previous session, I, I also stated, if this is the taxpayer money, then why Congress or any other party, especially from opposition, they are boycotting, in, or boycotting it or raising the question. They don't have the value. They don't have recognition for the taxpayer. This is not the BJP's office. Okay, this is the office, this is the building which has been constructed by 150 crore uh, pop, uh, population public of India for their representative, the selected representative. Sir, during the time of Corona, when we needed it badly to lift the underprivileged one, was it the right time to do it? When no. we are asking that you cannot in, in, in use corona, the money, you can win it for that. As but no, as well as the public, you're busy they buying aeroplanes. The well. you, you they performed the well. 120 crore people were everybody. vaccinated. Okay. But, 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 but Australia do you want to do you want to say that government made a plan to kill the people? Corona, Corona, that was some such a problem that there was the human limit. Okay, 
raising your voices. Otherwise, otherwise nobody would be able to hear what you're saying. Shivam, Shivam, let 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 me get let me get other panelists on the telecast right now. Shivam, let's try to understand over here. The concern is this: is this in the run-up to the 2024 Lok Sabha election? Opposition versus what the BJP. Is, is, this, with is this what is, what is happening? What the 21, the 21 opposition parties at this point of time raising the point against the BJP against the government of India. Is this, is this, is this BJP against the opposition 2024? I, 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 I will have to request you. I will have to request you. I will have to request you. I will have to request you to please calm down. I want, I want a calm discussion over here. Please. Please, please, the let, let, Shivam, let Shivam take over the stage. I'll give you, you know, I, I'll just request you all, unless we are given the space to speak up your mind and not talk over each other, there will not be people who are watching you, they will not be able to understand you. So, Shivam, yes, the question, opposition versus the BJP 2024, has the stage been set? See, this is what the uh, reality is. Ultimately, it is the fight for 2024, nothing more than that. I don't see anything, any grey area what they are being mentioning. What I'm saying is, the Honourable Prime Minister is the head of the government. He has got full right to inaugurate it. And I think it's not about right and uh, 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 wrong for that matter. I am again saying this and I'm saying this on record. You must not even demean the office of the Honourable President of India at any cost. There is no comparison at all. There is no competition at all. Both are respectable offices of uh, of this country, and we must respect, uh, irrespective of Great. your political interests. I'm very happy to hear that. I'm, I'm why sorry, you invite her then, but sir? the fact of the sir, matter why don't you is, invite her, sir, with due respect, no, no, you are invited. Is you are not a member of parliament. What, what makes I'm you sorry, madam. Whoa, you okay, are not a member of parliament. I can ask you a question. No, I'm, why not no, invite her, why sir? Why did the Congress, why is the Congress boycotting? Why did you invite her? I am not part of the democracy. Just a moment. I am already, I am already trying. I am already trying. You know, this is, this is exactly this is exactly what I did not want to have in our discussion. I wanted to have a cogent debate. Anika, again the question, again the same question to you, BJP versus the opposition. Is this again a ploy? Simply because I'm looking at the precedent that has been set. While two years ago when the inception of the idea of we should be building the new parliament building came into being, the opposition in the Congress particularly, particularly raised this point saying that it should not be done. No, no. Then you spoke about how the foundation stone was being laid and it should not have been done during the covid time so what and now so is this is this a political ploy or are you fighting so on your you, principles what, what do you expect there should be no opposition should the opposition not speak no, anything but should we not comment on what was is wrong or was a new parliament was a new parliament was a new parliament was 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 a new parliament was a new parliament building not required see there were two debates on that earlier <laughs> that debate is already passed by because everything is done we kept on saying during corona there are other more priorities which we taken care of yes it should be built because the need of the hour is that we need a better and bigger place because it's been the uh, history of the uh, british and, and, and hold on, hold your you know there are a lot of the congress is accepting the fact after and two years when the entire building is built what why is the prime minister so obsessed with the photo ops what will happen if the president is there why Congress party is so obsessed with the Prime Minister. Why can't they find a leader who is countering him on development issues? Why can't you find a leader who can counter the Prime Minister in the government on development issues? Why can't you find a leader? Find a leader and counter. Let's not drag the Office of President into this kind of a debate. Please, my humble request. Let's not drag the Office of President into this debate. Anika, my question was was that whether whether the Congress and whether the Congress Please yeah, don't demean the office of the prophet. You know, okay. Okay. Please okay. don't demean the office of the okay. president of India. Okay, okay. okay. Let's, let's, I'm going to uh, Pradeep Bhatti get into the conversation. Let's let's try to let's try to let's try to break this down and let's try to have a cogent conversation. And what could be a solution? Uh, that can be perhaps even looked forward to just a few hours before the inauguration takes place. Now, now there, sh there has to be some dialogue. There has to be some negotiation. 
between the BJP, between the government of India, between the 21 opposition parties who are boycotting this event, uh, what should have been done from the BJP side and the opposition party side? Should have been a dialogue, perhaps an appeal, a soft appeal that should have been gone from the BJP side to the opposition and perhaps we could have, uh, you know, resolved this entire matter without having this, uh, you know, crazy cacophony that we are witnessing over here on our channel as well. Uh, see, Mega, when you do not have substance, you raise your voice. So what I believe is that uh, let's talk about what what is the core issue is. Uh, we are not talking about 2020, uh, 2024. That's that's of course very near. But uh, BJP is always in that mood. They are not never thinking about the uh, welfare of the people. They are at that time also in the COVID time also they were only thinking about that before because they they are well aware that by 2024 after 2024 they will be out of the power so they were they wanted to com uh, complete this. Uh, 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 this particular uh, event before, uh, at that time. Uh, I, Shiva, I, I didn't interrupt you. I, I, I didn't Should interrupt not you. comment on this kind of no, thing. No, no, what, what I have commented. I said, no, no, I'm saying yeah. a party who has lost 17 mayoral elections in Uttar Pradesh okay. clearly says okay. what is the mood of the people. Okay. So let's now not comment on 2024. Will, will you have cutsy to hear me out completely then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have raised a question. Okay. He is talking about 17 mayors. He is, uh, he must be aware that since 1996, 17, all these before it was 14, then 16, and then 17. All were uh, won by the BJP. In the Panchayat, Nagar Palai, uh, Palika, and Nagar Panchayat, we have always done better than you. Right? So you, you have to understand that we are the party who, who is working on, on the in the villages okay. and, and those areas. Secondly, you are talking about uh, this particular uh, 2024 event. This this is not an event for us. See, understand the uh, under the, the mood of the uh, of this country. One for, uh, 140 crore people are 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 understanding this thing that what uh, BJP is doing is just uh, want to demean the office of president. You are saying okay. the president is uh, is not invited like he is sitting in the uh, uh, city and still he is not okay. being okay. I'm, watching I'm, I'm, the going raise, the I'm going to raise one more point. Since we all are talking about protocols and how they need to be respected and followed, uh, why is it that there have been instances where protocol has not been followed when the Prime Minister has visited Talangana? or Prime Minister has visited West Bengal, where the Chief Minister refuses to meet the Prime Minister, making some excuse or the other. Today, at the Niti Aayog meeting that was chaired by the Prime Minister, there were eight Chief Ministers, if not more, that have refused to attend the meeting, giving one, one excuse or the other. Anika, is this not a refusal to follow the protocol and why is it being done so? Those eight Chief Ministers also include the Congress Chief Ministers. Uh, let me tell you, Megha, that... Uh, it's uh, the Prime Minister, even on a drop of hat, goes to inaugurate anything and everything. What are his ministers doing? Will he not allow his minister to even inaugurate a train? He goes and does the hari jandi to a train. I am saying... Then, I, it's coming to the same no, point. No, 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 I'm it's coming, to, coming the to the question. It's coming to the point that this is what he believes in. He doesn't allow anybody, he doesn't follow his own protocol, but then he expects others to follow it. The question here is bigger, larger than that. Here is a building which everybody's looking forward to. A building where they're going to sit and frame laws. Why do you call the president for an opening remark on the before the parliament begins? There's no need to call her then. No, I mean, my there's question is something comes. else. No, no, Why no, no, would no, the chief ministers no. refuse to attend the Niti Aayog meeting? Today, what does that today, have to do with the, today, the proceedings today. of the government of India the and the betterment of the development yeah, of the, the past past also. Also. He is talking about nine years. So Why should the, the chief ministers come? I mean, this is not the first so, time it is happening. That's what I'm and asking. second thing is that in, in democracy, the uh, the uh, the uh, what uh, the opposition and the uh, and the lady uh, and the party who is leading the uh, country, the, their duty is larger than the opposition. They have to uh, bring everybody on the table. They have no, to no, make who, the consensus. Who is stopping you? It should be your moral uh, duty. Congress no, no moral that that is the duty. So you, so the brainchild, kind of which is that not the opposition. And you have to rule over the nation so, as per their wins and uh, 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 Madam okay. Priyanka Gandhi. So that is why he should not be. So he should not be. So that is he is not private bungalow. That he has to understand. So that he has to understand. So make him understand. I think.
you would know better what uh, what suggestion you have to give to BJP. I think you are a good from the false okay. promises okay. made by the okay. Prime Minister okay. only they are the leaders of from opposition they are the leaders of the they are the the holy inaugurator of this building they are the let, let's, let's hear it let's hear it since let's let's not talk over each other let's hear it from AK Mishra AK Mishra now uh, there have been two consecutive instances that have taken place one the opposition party is boycotting the parliament inauguration and the second just few days just just days after that today in the niti ayog meeting chaired by the chief prime minister has been boycotted it's not been boycotted but they the, the chief minister have refused to attend giving one reason or the other now is this is this a new ploy that the congress that the that the opposition parties have now found including the congress to demean the office of the prime minister ma'am one thing is very much clear for public as a common voter results should be there it doesn't makes a difference to me that who is going to do because of this is the history person presidents prime ministers they will come and they will go this is the question of nations that nation should be on the growth path now what they are going to do they are putting the different kind of the barrier in the name of protocol in the name of this rule that rule why you are not calling this why you are not calling that we put out our money we are enjoying it and see okay. what a short sighted they started cursing especially this holy moment they should bless each and everyone is blessing there will be the havan there will be the mantra there will be the bhumi pujan everything will, even the god and goddess let they the are blessing for this building but this opposition is they are cursing from day one let the president be there Okay. You don't have the good word in your tongue, in your mouth. Does the Havan say? Especially no, for no, the country. No, 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 president should not be there. Does the Havan signify? For the people, for the people only 150 crore people. Does the Havan do that? Country, if Havan, does Havan signify that? Fair enough. Yeah, Havan signify that? 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 Yeah, has also omar omar abdullah of the national conference has also come out yesterday and praise the new parliament building there have been other opposition party leaders including the bjd including uh, ycrcp they have all come out and praise the parliament building and there are some of them are also going to be attending it uh, would it how difficult it is for the congress and these 21 opposition party leaders to come out and appreciate the good that has happened in the country let me tell you categorically that it is not that we uh, anyway saying something about the parliament building we all but there has not been a word of, of praise Hold also that has come Hold out of you we want to be a part of it we would Hold love to applaud applaud let, let what the let prime minister has done but but that doesn't give the prime minister any leverage to either uh, cut short the protocol and get away whatever he feels like just because he wants the name on the plate on the parliament doesn't mean that you're not going to have the decency look at the invite today leave alone the president all right you say the gray areas the what about the, the chairman is. of the rajya sabha is, is it there or not and does they it are what a mean my friend how is this there how is that family is not there all these that buildings that is what their bottom line is the name of how they, if they want to really debate on this thing that is absolutely not here we will have a commission let let them complete their point he comes number 3 the president the chairman of rajya sabha and then the prime minister and this is the problem we appeal to the prime minister hold on sir we appeal to the prime minister prime minister sir allow them to come sir please let them have the inauguration you can go in a spree and I'm, go ahead i am amazed to see number of buildings i am really amazed to see okay, the kind okay, of okay anika anika you have made your point anika 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 you have made your point anika you have made your point shivam continue so i am saying i am amazed to see the kind of appeal she is making to the prime minister let 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 shivam continue even happier if anika ji and her party would have gone across the party line and for that matter uh, the kind of uh, precedents they have set and you know why when when it, when there was the election of the honorable president of india when draupadi took over the president of india and the kind of words that was spoken by the honorable uh, uh, anika ji party yes. i don't want to repeat yeah. it I don't want to repeat it. The kind of words that were repeated by the Congress party. That's where you got red-handed. A slip of tongue. A slip of tongue that happened twice. Don't take that. Don't take that comfortable position. I don't want to take that position. And I think, and I think, who made that point? Okay, 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 okay. This is not the fight for protocols, but this is the fight for 2024, which is going on. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Also, I want to now at this juncture raise. 
the issue of the Sengal, the scepter, it, it, it had created quite the controversy as well. Particularly when Mountbatten handed it over to the first Prime Minister of our country, Pandit Nehru, and this was kept in a museum in Allahabad and, called, and, and the museum tagged it as the walking stick of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, now uh, and then there is, uh, of course, the Sengal is being celebrated it is being commemorated. There are priests, there are mutts that are traveling all the way from Tamil Nadu and there are going to be these sacred rituals that are going to be conducted around it and it is going to be placed in the parliament. So, so is there also a cause of concern, Onika, uh, of the then UPA era that was ruled by the Gandhis, Pandit Nehru, who started it off, uh, perhaps demeaning the, what, the, what Indian culture, what Hindu rituals actually mean? I mean, I'm really surprised at how you go about, you know, digging up uh, irrelevant facts which are not even, you know, accurate. But despite that, uh, there's a tendency to bring into Nehruji, the founder, you know, uh, of the modern India. And despite that, these, uh, you know, the things are there. Now, what uh, really uh, aghast me is that you talk about, you know, Britishers ruling us and, you know, opp oppressing us. And on the same breath, these very BJP went on to write mafia namas to the Britishers. So on the same breath, you know, these, this is what we say they don't practice what they preach the habit is that they allow the others they both others no, no, no. to preach no, no. unnecessarily you have to you know what you've done law. but when did they will never BJP follow what they preach law. you have to practice no, no. what you preach you have to you, you have say to rectify you no, no, say no. the britishers you, you, you cannot say, be you cannot be same we have a cousin onikaji we don't expect you to be a servant and then you are the same you are on television right now you have to watch of course you have to tell us what you have to who are you is what is it onika then is that just to them you no. hand in gloves with them and now okay. you have the oh, that's so, the so I, I don't know who who are you hinting towards tell me is, who's, is what, is who what did we file are, a mafia nama is what we are at no, this point of time debating the jail how desperate you were like let us that we will abide by the British rule Onikaji, please release from the jail if you want to this debate is what on you the history did. of this country this is what you did I'm sorry so that is why I say we can have it some other day Nehruji, and I'm promise, who was the founder I promise the more, I India, promise you won't be able to stand here because you have you your party have actually played this is why we are proud with the history of this country. You and your party have played badly with the history of this country. You have only glorified the people who are part of the International Congress. You have demeaned the people who are of this country. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's get Pradeep also into the telecast and understand from him this entire single controversy. What do you make of it? Does this also showcase what has happened in the UPA era versus what is happening in the BJP era? in our country? See, firstly, uh, my friend on the right uh, is getting excited and I want to tell him that uh, I'm not hard of hearing. Uh, so probably we can have a logical, sensible debate. Uh, talking about the single is that uh, is a transfer of power. So it's, this is the right time when BJP has got this uh, thing and we are putting that into the Lok Sabha, uh, the new Sansad. So uh, the, exactly the 2024 is the era where uh, the BJP is moving out or transferring the power. So they, they understand they, the, that is the reason why they have okay. bring it, uh, uh, it on the right time. And I, uh, I wish them uh, luck, good luck. Uh, in but is, the power. Is this is this not seeped in our Hindu heritage, Hindu culture, Hindu S religion, and therefore the significance of it needs so to be I, brought out and told to the see, people. See, the story see, of it told to the denying, people of country see, and see, to the we, world. Nobody is denying that. Everybody, uh, everybody in this country is proud of their own religion. So don't relate each and everything with the religion. So my request is that everybody, uh, even if there is a cow on that, everybody prays and. Uh, uh, we, we are very, very well proud of our culture. So okay. don't uh, relate two, uh, two things together. Okay. And they are not of any relevance right in the, this context that uh, when we are talking about the new building or even if we are bringing the single, it's uh, fine. And we, we are transferring the power. That what we can understand from this uh, uh, whole debate. A.K. Mishra, you want to respond yeah, to yeah, this? Definitely. <clears throat> All of us, please beware. Uh, especially with some such kind of the spokesperson of a political party. This is the historical fact. They never recognized the Ram Setu. That is the historical fact. They have put it on paper. They never uh, recognized the Ram Temple and only the Samajwadi Party, uh, ex-Chief Minister, Mr. Mulayam Singh. 
they allowed to open the fire and even after that i want to answer that any kind of let me Please complete allow me. Yeah, yeah, ah, what what yeah. what he told and repeated in in repeated manner that if it will be possible again and again i will allow to open the fire how we can believe that's why i used a word beware of some such kind of the spoke person they are using very sweet language their tongue is very sharp but their mind is very little for our culture especially okay. for the indian culture okay. and you used for each and every culture and religion it is not especially in practical in day to day life that is only your your intention your likelihood it is only for one culture one religion and every voter every public knows that okay you Pradeep, should disclose Pradeep, that Pradeep, Pradeep, you want to respond to yeah, this yeah definitely i mean he is now uh, targeting my religion uh, what i have to practice uh, what i uh, how no, in no, no, which way free. see see you, don't you interrupt you don't interrupt practice. Have got to, to hear me out. Have got to hear me out. When let, you let have Pradeep to put Pradeep an allegation his... on me, yes, have okay. got to have got to hear me out. First thing is that he raised the uh, thing about Ram Bhagat and all. Uh, the same government has given uh, a, a, a recently uh, Pradeep Bhushan uh, to Vibhushan to uh, Honorable uh, Mulayam Singh ji. Secondly, they are very selective in that. If there was anything related to uh, law and order, he, they have to understand that they, they, he was never convicted in anything. He was never even BJP government is ruling from nine years and and uh, seven years in UP. What they have done if the, something has gone wrong? Secondly, have you demanded? secondly, even secondly, secondly hear me out. Secondly, today secondly, today secondly, secondly complete, let complete, let, let, let me complete, let, let complete, me complete, it, please. let me complete, gent. Uh, secondly, uh, he is talking about only the, of those Ram Bhags. They have opened fire. They have murdered uh, 73 Ram Bhags. They were also Ram Bhags in Rajasthan in BJP government. They have no, they no, raised any voice the to the till today? They were no, no. Have they not? Were, the were they not? Uh, no, no. Not, see, don't relay things. You are no, talking no, no, about. Don't you are talking the about. I'm you are killing of people. You are talking about Ram Bhagat. If you answer me that, answer me that. Why? Why you kill seventy three people? Okay, okay. While we are talking about all these, why we are talking about all these aspects? Why we are talking about all these aspects? No law and order issue. He was right in that law and order has to be. ऑपोजिशन पार्टी हैव बीन एबल टू फाइंड आउट एंड शिवम अगेन could there have been a better effort a better outreach program by the bjp to then reach out to the opposition reach out to the congress reach out to mamta banerjee reach out to arvind kejriwal and say that there could be a better solution to this we all need to come united together let go of our differences and then go about creating this harmonious environment when the parliament building is going to be inaugurated should it not have been a priority for the bjp नेगा जी ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी यूनियन मिनिस्टर प्रहलाद जोशी जी द एंटायर गवर्नमेंट द एवरी स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी हैज़ बीन अर्जिंग द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड द अदर ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज हु बीन ट्राइंग टू बॉयकॉट दिस एंटायर हिस्टोरिक मोमेंट व्हिच इज कमिंग डाउन इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस कंट्री बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर आर प्री कंसीव्ड एक्शन विच द ऑपोजिशन गोज इन now if if there is already a political interest into it how do you expect them to probably behave in a mm. uh, so called constitutional and a happy way mm. when the entire country is going to celebrate this historic moment when the country is going the world's largest democracy is going to get a institution uh, you know uh, of of excellence shivanji make it they, inclusive na tolerate this, this is happening in this and i think i think and i think uh, what is interesting to see is unfortunately and i i, I again quote myself it they are only disturbed so, by the fact that gandhi family is not involved in it oh, that like is good, the good, biggest good. and the right. biggest oh, problem right. monica oh, how do you respond Omega. is this is this just a political bickering oh, that is taking place so with Omega. the opposition parties putting its guns on bjp 
Malga, when they when they are pushed against the wall, when they have nothing to say, they make it political. And when it suits them, they say, "Oh, don't make it political. Let's you know, let's sit together and talk." They don't want to do that. It is just a gimmick. It's just an eye wash. They have planned everything. They know exactly what they want to do. When the prime minister, when Amit Shah ji can say, "Congress mukt Bharat," you can well imagine the mindset, the thought behind it, that the country now will be run under dictatorial rule. The democracy has been completely shattered today. You know, we find ourselves helpless because there's nothing which is the called a constitution. They have thrown it out of window. The window. They do not follow party. the protocol. I just but, appeal to them. But Sawa saw the road as a new one. The constitution was there by Kisan in Delhi, and not a single lati charge bullet was fired. This is the how many? How many? How many got killed? How many got killed? Who? How many got killed? Who is responsible? You tell me who is responsible. That the people, people of the country. People of the country, God, let's 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 talk. Let's talk one by one. If you talk one over, talk over other people, then you will not be able to make your point. You will not be heard by the people. So, 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 Onika, you speak about the fact that uh, when BJP comes out with this slogan that it, there should be a Congress Mukt Bharat, but then there is the. 140 crore people of our country who are voting, whether All. it is for Congress, whether it is be yeah. BJP, whether it is for Mamta Banerjee's yes. party, whether it is any other political party. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so, so, how do you justify your point? So now you've just seen a sample. Himachal, we started, and Karnataka. In Karnataka, they had to go and say, "Be careful. The people should not lose the, you know, help of the Prime Minister." Why are you trying to scare them? Where you're trying to threaten them, this is what BJP done, does. If they cannot get uh, get with what they want to do, then they start threatening. Very easily, they have all the weapons in the hand, which they are using merrily. So the the bottom line here is BJP at this juncture, Mega, is timid. Petrified and a scared lot, and this is why in hustle and bustle they want to get away with whatever they do. They know very well that they, the people of this country, will never forgive them for demeaning any post for what they, for so whatsoever. Okay. Be it the president, be it the Rajya Sabha chairman. Okay. You need to take everybody on on board. Why? Where is the harm? I am just requesting. You. Forget I the Congress. Me. I say, Mega, forget the Congress opposition. How about taking these people on board? What is the harm? What troubles you? What is it that is troubling you? Is that the nameplate? Is that all that is working around? That Modi ji should be seen all the posters? Is that what you're working around? It is shameful to see that the prime minister of a country is the prime minister of all of us. Mind it, he is not the prime minister of the BJP. Okay. So once he's elected okay, and enough. the prime minister, he's our president, okay. our prime minister, okay. and he should work in the name of everybody, not okay. only for BJP. Okay, all right. Uh, Pradeep, I'm going to come to you. Uh, would you all like to qualify what Anika has said? Would you want to want to say whether it is the BJP political ploy or is it the opposition political ploy? See, opposition. If you uh, bring everyone in together, they are somewhere around uh, 4,030, if I am not wrong, 4,030 legislative assembly members mm. in the country, and what BJP number is? 1,355. So that means what the BJP number is in the country. They are showing off everything they have. It look like that they have, uh, uh, they, their government is everywhere in the, every part of the so we country. Have a larger See, li listen, li li listen. You are trying to put this number into the place. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm telling just, you, just there, there is a voice. I, I'm coming to you. Let me out. Let me grabbing at the least, MLA at and MPs. That's what they do. How many states are they ruling on their own? Where are they coming to? How many of the states are they ruling on their own? So that are the numbers that. That I was giving to you. The reason is that you are saying the opposition, nobody is hearing. Opposition is uh, uh, there is no opposition. So I am giving you those numbers. The reason is that this opposition is also elected. These members are also Fair elected enough. from the public. Fair so enough. they but are I'm representing saying there the is public. A so that the was public set, is saying, there was a precedent that was set in 2019 election. Now I am going to say because the Karnataka, when the Karnataka election was won by. Uh, JDS and the Congress and there was a show of strength when HD Kumaraswamy had come out uh, becoming the chief minister. Of course there were a number of opposition parties that had come together and there was a similar ceremony that took place this time around as well when Siddharamaya came out becoming the chief minister. There were a number of opposition parties that were invited. There were others who were not. Now how strong is the opposition at this juncture to throw out BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi come 2024? See, uh, you can see, make out from the BJP itself that they, uh, they are losing the ground. 
<clears throat> the numbers which I gave recently is the recent numbers. So, in the uh, if I uh, if I talk about the largest state like uh, Uttar Pradesh, you have to see opposition has to see that who is uh, fighting with the BJP, and the B that has to be given empowered by the opposition to throw that uh, the BJP rule out Was of this state. Was this Majwadi party participating in the oath taking ceremony of Siddharamaiah in Karnataka? See, uh, but they are already pre-planned uh, things uh, which are already there. So, uh, are you backing the Congress? No. Are you backing the Congress when Lok Sabha elections come in 2024? So we are, we are saying that we are, Congress has to back us. That what we are saying in Uttar Pradesh itself. Yes. We are the uh, we we are the <coughs> largest opposition party. We have the we see our vote percentage. So uh, uh, we we have to see that who is uh, who is uh, in the fighting uh, with the BJP in their respective state. Okay. And considering the Uttar Pradesh as the biggest state, we have to understand uh, the uh, the kind of uh, uh, value that bring uh, that Uttar Pradesh brings to the uh, to whole uh, center uh, scenario. So that, uh, considering that power, that uh, okay. thing we have to understand. Okay, so, that we have so, to so so, Samajwadi Party says it is not the Samajwadi Party that is going to support the Congress. It should be the other way around. Now, now, who is going to be who is going to be the king if the opposition wins? Who is going to be the kingmaker? Whether you will be able to hold your stance as one single biggest opposition party around whom all the other opposition parties, regional parties, are going to rally? Do you do you at least have that sort of a consensus, that sort of understanding to fight the BJP in 2024? Amiga, the focus here is to fight against the divisive forces, to fight against these people who are dividing the country, to but fight are you, against these are causes. Are you united so in that focus, cause? Wait, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. See, unlike the BJP, it is not that they decide on their own and they start harping about it. It is here, let the election take place, let everybody, you know, contest the election, and the like-minded will be together. So, uh, once the consensus is formed, the name will be declared. It's not like the BJP oh, yes, that, you know, this one man show, like double Indian like card, Congress. and all the taglines. So we don't believe in that. The, the double I tell you, the Congress party where Indian only family so takes a call. Only have no, double family Indian, will take a call Indian, and who's going to be the and president. And even in the Corona certificate, you are voting in the So how much is How long? How scared they are? How scared they are? How scared they are? How scared they are? They can't bear the thought that, you know, they have nine years. But the one years have gone down the drain. Nine years have gone down the drain. Shorts. Nine years, they have done nothing. And BJP, there is two plus okay. two, is taking okay. the okay. shots. Okay, you know okay, okay. Prateep, Prateep, what do you have to say to what Anika and what Shivam says with regards to the opposition unity or the lack of it currently? Uh, regarding what? About the 2024 Lok Sabha elections, because so, it is everything boils down to the elections. See, we 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 are uh, on the peop on the uh, on the issues of people. We are together. They see the uh, the inflation. See uh, what uh, about the farmers, their issues, the labor's issues. The, uh, there are so many issues. Uh, see the unemployment in the country. Uh, in Uttar Pradesh, the uh, the figure says there is a four percent uh, unemployment in Uttar Pradesh. Even a fool and fool can laugh on it. That four percent. If you go in the villages, ninety-six percent uh, uh, young uh, youth is uh, unemployed, and that uh, giving us numbers of four percent unemployment. So we have to fight these these issues, these okay. four issues, and we'll be fighting together. A position uh, uh, for the people if we are united uh, in all these issues, and of course we are on these issues. Okay. So we'll fight uh, in uh, our respective states. Okay. All and right, Shivam. Uh, nine years completion of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the period of nine, 2014 up until 2023. Uh, there is this agenda, there is this campaign that has been raised by the Congress. No Sal, no Sawal. How is the BJP going to come out as a counter? So they've been asking these questions all through. I've got nothing against them. The point is that need to they need to put their uh, energies together and come down with something. I think in 2019, everybody has seen these political parties coming together against the Bharti Janta Party. No. But what has been the result, everybody knows. No, Uttar Pradesh, uh, my dear friend is talking about, uh, you know, the alliances and everything. I think the kind of alliances that happened in Uttar Pradesh, can you ever imagine Samadhi Party and Baspa coming together? Can you ever imagine? 
two polls in a political no, 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 let me let me respond, ma'am. Let me respond. BJP was also alliance with BSP. Shivam, I say, I say, I say, Maharashtra. I say, Maharashtra. Shivasena, you have been a lost lady. ensured that Bharat, that bhartiya janta party led bhartiya janta party led government in this country has ensured india into the top 5 countries oh, of this world and not five fragile economies that was in 2014 bjp has ensured that me. every household has got a tap has got uh, tapped uh, water Mega, every uh, household it's good to hear that shivam is talking about bjp led government and he is talking about alliance and he last otherwise this was only modi government monica monica and shivam you have made your point quickly i have 30 seconds each for all of you before i wrap this up pradeep you want to make a point quickly 15 seconds i'm saying it's good to hear that shivam is talking about bjp led government it was modi government all the 9 years so good they have realized the ground prime ground. minister so shri narendra see, modi see, see, unfortunately sir ka no 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 come on you your you minister they don't have to work you why you are getting hyper ओकेजन टूमोरो इनग्रेशन से ceremony of the new parliament building will commence so we'll stay on news x live throughout the day tomorrow as well and bring you all the live coverage from there while the opposition and the bjp and the government of india bickering continues we at this point of time want to win augur this new era of a new confident strong india with the inauguration with the launch of the new parliament building for more such videos subscribe to the news x youtube channel hit the bell icon